Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Learn English with Hamid. Today we do part 3 of how to improve your spoken English. So I'm going to give you 5 tips, 5 easy tips and um, I'm sure you'll find them very useful. So the first tip um, in today's video is improve your grammar. Improve your grammar. Uh, well, uh, some people might say learning grammar is not important for learning a language and uh, if you remember in part one I told you that uh, if you want to improve your spoken English uh, or if you want to improve your language, learn it like a child. So you might think that uh, a child doesn't learn uh, grammar or a child doesn't know grammar. But uh, to be honest, uh, we adults cannot be 100% like children. When we learn a second language, especially in adulthood, we have to learn grammar. Without grammar, uh, we cannot uh, attain or achieve that fluency that is needed in a second language. So you have to learn grammar. And of course, it's not a one-day story. You learn grammar step by step. And um, what you could do on my on my channel, there is a playlist, and if you go to the playlist, you'll find grammar section there. And uh, the most number of videos I have done is on grammar. So the first tip is, so watch those videos. So the first tip is improve your grammar. Moving on to the next tip, um, connected to the first one in some in some way. Um, improve your vocabulary improve your vocabulary because even if you have great command of uh, grammar but if your vocabulary is weak so for example if i say i have a uh, or my if i don't know the word for this part of my body if you say my 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 what my hand is dirty for example or this is my hand or this is my so if i don't know the word for it so then i cannot communicate so uh, to be able to uh, communicate well, you must improve your vocabulary. So vocab improving vocabulary is the second tip. And talking of vocabulary, uh, keep in mind, uh, improve your collocation. Uh, you might think what a collocation is. Well, collocation are words that go together. For example, in many languages, uh, they say uh, fast rain. But in English, we don't say fast rain. In English, we say heavy rain. So heavy rain is a collocation. Another collocation, for example, in English is if we talk about the word luck, L-U-C-K. So we could say, for example, stroke of, stroke of luck, I found my friend there, for example. So that's the third tip, improve your vocabulary. And connected to that is, uh, the third tip is, use fillers. Whenever you are speaking, use fillers. You know, uh, when we are speaking, we don't have much time. Sometimes we need time to think. So you could use fillers. For example, let me use a filler. Let's say you, you ask a question. You ask me a question. I say, well, uh, in my opinion, um, the answer to this question is this, 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 for example. So fillers are uh, sounds and fillers are words. For example, I could say, um, um, yeah, uh, well, for example, we could also say, you know, so someday I'll do a uh, complete like an entire video on fillers. So the third tip is use fillers and using fillers is okay. It's not bad English. It's good English. It's just uh, remember one point. Uh, don't do it. Overdo it. Don't use a lot of fillers. So third tip is use fillers. The fourth tip is um, work on your pronunciation. Try to improve your pronunciation. Uh, forget about accent. Don't worry a lot about accent. Focus more on pronunciation. Because uh, if you pronounce a word incorrectly, so you might be uh, misunderstood. For example, instead of saying uh, sheep, if I say sheep, for example, so you uh, you will be misunderstood. Like I remember I had a student. He was, uh, okay, I won't. Uh, name the nationality he was not from Pakistan so I asked him what is your father what is your father's job and he says my father is a foolish man <laughs> so in fact he wanted to say my father is a policeman but he says my father is a foolish foolish man so you see his pronunciation created problem 
in comprehension. So the fourth tip is, I repeat, improve your pronunciation and don't worry that much about accent. Uh, the other tip, the fifth tip and the last tip for today's video is, don't try to be perfect. Don't try to be perfect. What does it mean? Well, it means, for example, when I'm speaking, so I think a lot, I want my sentences to be perfect before I utter them. So, because I don't want to sound stupid, I don't want others to laugh at me. So I want to create perfect, I want to speak perfect English. But uh, no, don't worry about that. Uh, initially we make mistakes or we may make mistakes. Second language learners make mistake and no problem. So uh, maybe we'll never achieve uh, uh, a level where we become perfect in second language learning. So don't try to be perfect. Mistakes are made and no problem. Uh, you know I was uh, listening to uh, uh, Italian polyglot. I don't remember his name now. But you know what he said? Polyglot, by the way, is a person who knows many languages, like more than five languages. So he said something very uh, beautiful. He said that in order to do something uh, excellently, you have to do it poorly first. In order to do something excellently, you have to do it poorly first. Like initially when we learn a skill, we do it poorly. We don't do it well. But with practice, we achieve proficiency and excellence. So the same tip for you. Uh, don't try to be perfect. Keep on learning. Keep on practicing. And hopefully a time will come when you achieve uh, excellence in language learning, in speaking especially. So that's it what we have for today. Let me recap the tips. The first tip is uh, learn grammar, improve your grammar. The second is improve your vocabulary. The third is use fillers. The fourth is uh, work on your pronunciation and don't worry that much about accent. And the fifth is don't try to be perfect. So I hope you like these tips. And that's what we have for today. So uh, I might do a part four as well. So before we leave, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for more notifications. See you.